Coming in at number three on our list of ultralight aircraft that give you the biggest bang for your buck is the Team Minimax. I first saw and flew the Team Minimax at Sun and Fun in the early 80s. I had come down with my two-seat Quicksilver MX, but with the windy conditions I was grounded, as were most of the other ultralight aircraft. But not the Team Minimax. Here was this little single-place all-wood construction, low-wing aircraft taking off and landing in a gusty 15 mile per hour wind. But most impressive was that for about five minute stretch, the pilot was able to park about 150 feet in the air and go backwards, apply power, come forward, only to back down and fly backwards again. Needless to say, those were not the kind of conditions I got to fly in. Next, early next morning, I was invited over to a nearby grass strip airfield to do a little flying in some calmer conditions. At the time, I weighed about 165 pounds, and my 5 foot 6 inch frame fit nicely into the cabin. The Mini Max was equipped with a little 28 horsepower single cylinder engine, and on startup, you knew it was a single cylinder. Once up and running, things smoothed out. Applying power, the craft jumped into the air in about 100 feet. Climb was an honest 550 feet per minute, and straight and level flight with about 5,500 RPM gave me 55 miles per hour. I approached for landing as instructed at about 45 miles per hour, leveled out at about 15 feet, bled some airspeed off while she floated down the runway, and touched down just above 25 miles an hour. Steering this little tail rigger was no problem at all. I did half a dozen takeoffs and landings and circuits before handing the plane back to its owner. I have talked to a number of owners and builders of Team Mini Max aircraft over the years. They are a very close knit uh, group and help each other out over the internet and with numerous blogs and posts. All indicate the craft is easy to build from plans and material kits supplied. Reported building times range from 270 to 500 hours, with most coming in at the lower end. No special tools are required to build it, and many have built it in the garage or even some in their basement. It is one of the most economical ultralight aircraft on the market to build, and it is available in a number of different configurations, depending on whether you want to fly it as an ultralight or move up into the Amherst built experimental category. It is also available in the HIMAX, which is a high wing aircraft.